Hi everybody and welcome to this pregnancy yoga class today where we're going to be doing a sequence which will help us to reduce anxiety. So I'm deciding to record this without music today so if you do want some music on in the background please do choose some now and then press play and join me on the mat. All right everybody so Please have some pillows and cushions ready for the end. But we are going to start in a seated position. Now, as always, throughout your pregnancy, it's key to be comfortable. Um, so do make sure I'm actually going to bring a bolster in here. And I've got um, a mat, um, a nice soft mat underneath for my knees. Which I'm turned up. Um, and you can sit on your bottom with your legs crossed or you can join me in this kneeling position. But do make sure that you're comfortable, especially as you move throughout your pregnancy. Lifting your hips up is probably going to feel quite nice. So join me in a seated position, whatever that looks like. And I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. Now, as always, everything is an invitation. If you don't want to close your eyes, then that's okay. You can keep your eyes open. <clears throat> and we're just gonna take a moment to land, to press pause. from whatever your day has looked like so far. And then I'm going to actually ask you to open your eyes, everybody. And we're going to start with some external orienting. So I'd like you to look to your left and slowly make your way around to your right, but really, really slowly. This is a fantastic exercise to help reduce anxiety, to anchor us into the present moment. So just noticing on this first round, the colours that you see. The colours that you see. And you might say them out loud. You might say purple, red, brown, black. Remember the vibration that we use with sound as we talk helps us to activate the vagus nerve. So it helps us to engage the social engagement system, which helps us to drop into regulation, it helps to calm us down, basically. Or you might just want to say them in your, in your head. And once you get round to the right, we're going to go round to the left, this time noticing the shapes that you see. Just the shapes. Connecting with our environment now. Firstly, bringing the attention away from ourselves, which we're feeling quite anxious. Hopefully this will feel nice. So just the shapes. And then once you get round to the left, this time noticing any shadows that you see, any differences in light. Slowly as you make your way around to the right. And then lastly, noticing the distance between objects as you take your gaze slowly around to the left. And as always, we're looking out for signs of regulation, exhales, softening any release in tension, changes in temperature, maybe a swallow, a sigh, a gargle of our digestive system, shift in temperature. And if external orienting feels really good, stick with that. 
or I'm going to invite you to now notice your breath. Now, again, you might want to close your eyes. You might keep your gaze open. And when we're anxious, if paying attention to the breath feels like too much, externally orient it. Notice what you can smell, touch, hear. Use your five senses. And if you're with me now and you're connecting in with your breath, just acknowledge where your breath is tending to sit. And we know that with anxiety comes an altered breathing pattern. So you might not be breathing down to the belly. You might not be three-part breathing. The breath might be higher, might be in the shoulders. You might feel like you're not breathing. So I'm going to encourage you now to think about drawing the air down into your belly once you've acknowledged where your breath tends to sit. Feel the contact if you're using your hands here, hand on chest, hand on belly, and your baby or babies. Permission to change position if you need to. Pause the class and come back. I'm just acknowledging how your breath feels now. Imagining the respiratory diaphragm lowering, lowering and breathing into the belly, the abdominal cavity changing shape. Now, obviously, with your pregnancy, you might not feel that as much and you might feel it higher up, actually. Just acknowledging the sensations that you can feel. And imagining the air going down to the lower lobes of the lungs, where the majority of those alveoli are, where the gaseous exchange happens. Okay, and we're just gonna do some left-sided nostril breathing now. So we're gonna take our right hand, our first finger, and I'm gonna invite you to cover your left, at your right nostril, and to breathe in and out through the left. Now, again, you might be staying with your external orienting. It's completely fine. Your choices are celebrated in these classes. Do what feels good for you. Try something, if it doesn't feel right, change. These are all invitations, ladies. But if you're with me here doing Nadi Shodhana or left-sided nostril breathing even, right hand gently covering the right nostril, and breathing in and out through the left. Your eyes might be closed. You might have a soft gaze somewhere. Really take your time, continue there. You might even bend that right knee and place your, your elbow on there. Just make sure that you, it's nice and out to the side that you've got lots of space for baby or babies. And just continue there and just trust that with every inhale and exhale, you are oh, dropping your body into a state of calm. And just trust that your baby or your babies feel that, that they benefit from that too, that you benefit from this. You matter too. So it's this environment that you're creating for yourself and your baby. Every time you feel your anxiety levels rise, come back to these breathing exercises, the external orienting. Let's just do three more here. Okay, and float your eyes open. 
And we're just going to start some movement here at the neck. So we're going to draw some really lovely circles and do take your time with these. Go even slower than you want to or think is possible. And really what we're doing here, we're mobilizing the neck, we're reducing tension that we might feel around the neck, the shoulders and the jaw. So give your jaw a wiggle. We're relaxing the diaphragm that's in the throat. Imagining your mind's eye air just easily passing through the throat now and the throat just widening. If you feel dizzy, just do smaller half circles here. If you're okay, we'll do a few more this way. Just listening to the clicks and clunks, reducing any tension that's been picked up and then change direction. We're also really stimulating the lymph nodes that are within the neck. Helping with our lymphatic drainage system. We're opening through the throat chakra. So lots is happening here. And then just relax there, lovely. Inhale, bring your arms out to the side, reach them all the way up. And then exhale, come down. And again, inhale, come up. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Just release off any tension in the shoulders here. This time as you exhale, bring the left hand down towards the ground. And we want to stay nice and long through the sides of the bodies whilst we, body whilst we do this. But we do want to come into a slight side bend. So inhale, come up. Exhale, come over. Just open out through the side of the ribs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come over. So again, not going too far. With all the movements through pregnancy, we just want to make sure we are staying nice and open. Keeping enough space for the baby or babies. And let's go to the other side. Inhale, lift up, exhale over. So imagine you're growing in length through both sides of the body as you just open through the side body. And we know that we have, um, as we move through the pregnancy, uh, pregnancy, that we have limited space in the ribcage, in the lungs. So just opening out through the side ribs can be really good for us. Way and then relax down there, give your shoulders a little roll. Okay, and then coming up and over onto all fours now. And let's start to just move the spine. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And we're just going to start with some barrel rolls. So just circular movement with the hips. And you'll feel that this movement comes through the spine too. So you'll almost move through arching the spine up and then dropping the spine. So tucking the tailbone under and then the tailbone comes out. So just making this movement your own, feeling into any areas of your body that feel a little bit tight, a little bit stiff maybe, you might have some aches and pains and then change direction. Relax the head, relax the shoulders, the jaw, wiggle your jaw. This way. And then relax here. Now, during pregnancy, we don't want to really come all the way through cat and cow. We don't want to, I'll just show you, but we don't want to do this. We don't want to take the tailbone up, sink the belly and really open out through the front line of the body because it's already opening so much. The abdominals are really stretching and opening. So we want to move through our cat stretch. So really pressing our shoulder blades up towards the ceiling, tailbone under, and then just come to neutral. All the way up and then all the way down. So we inhale as we drop down to neutral and exhale as we come through to cat stretch. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. And just do a few more of these. So knowing that we can get really tense through our thoracic spine, the middle portion of our spine between the shoulder blades. And just bringing this nice 
pelvic tilt as well. Okay, and then just relax there. This time we're going to just mobilize between the shoulder blades. So we're going to come up and down like this. The arms stay straight. We're gonna drop the chest down. So it feels like the shoulder blades are coming together, but the base of the spine is, is the same. And then we arch up. So drop down and arch up, drop down. It's like a little press up for your shoulder blades, really. It's just massaging that area of your spine. Two more. Lovely. Okay, everyone. And then we're going to come back, sitting on our heels, knees nice and wide. And we're going to come forward to child's pose. Now, this might look different at different stages of your pregnancy or just depending on how you feel today. So you might come all the way down, rest on your elbows, or you might take your arms out to the front, rest your forehead down. If you can't quite go as low, if your bump is a bit bigger, it might feel nice to bring the ground to you and to sit up that bit higher. All right, so just acknowledging what feels good for you, or you might have your arms straight, but just opening out through the hips. If that feels okay, if you've got any pelvic girdle pain, then taking the knees wider won't feel great. So if you have got pelvic girdle pain, as much as possible, we want to keep the knees underneath the hips. So what you can do is come into this position and this almost looks like a puppy dog stretch. So you're still gaining that lovely stretch for your lower back, but your knees are together. As you move through your pregnancy in child's pose, it won't feel as comfortable to keep the knees like this. So just offering that other alternative there. With the knees out to the side, we have space for baby or babies. Okay, wherever you are, take a deep breath in and all the way out. Okay, and all we're going to do is, I'll show you the movement first from, say, this position. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll move that out of the way. So if taking your knees out to the side doesn't feel comfortable, all we're going to do is slightly rock back, make sure you've got enough space that it's not too uncomfortable as you come back, and then just come forward till the hips are straight. We're not dropping the hips all the way down, they're just in a nice neutral position. So we're just rocking forwards and backwards. All right, so we're starting to massage the kidneys now and adrenals, which are really important for our stress response in the body. Now, if you feel okay out to the side, you're gonna come from a child's pose and then come to neutral. Child's pose and then to neutral. So just see what that feels like. And we can inhale as we come through center and exhale as we come forwards. Inhale through center and exhale as we come back. So just noticing which feels better for you. And just carry on with that movement. You can have something underneath your knees, ladies, if they're a bit sensitive. Just pop some pillows underneath your knees, make sure you're not gonna slide about too much. But what's happening here with that slight forward and backward bend in the spine, is your kidneys, which sit at the back of the spine with like little beanies on them, which are your adrenals. We're compressing and releasing, compressing and releasing, which is really lovely to get lots of circulation to them to help them to regulate themselves because those glands are what release or the adrenals are above the kidneys are what releases our stress hormones. So our cortisol and adrenaline. And if we are feeling anxious, remember it's that fight and flight response. They're being overworked. So we want to send them some circulation. We want to send them some oxygen. We want to help to regulate those glands. You can close your eyes here. Lovely and relax there. Okay, everybody, tuck the toes under and an invitation now to join me in downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. So, sending lots of fresh oxygen 
that bit faster to our brains, to the pituitary gland, to some of the major glands in the body, the master gland actually this is. And we have something called the HPA axis, which is responsible for our stress response. So the hippocampus being the area of the brain, take some deep breaths here, along with the amygdala that is in charge of our fight and flight responses. Just come down here, come into variation of child's pose that feels good for you, roll the wrist. And through our breathing, through our movement, we're affecting that. And then the pituitary gland, some of the important glands in the body, we're affecting, especially in inversions, helping to directly send circulation to that master gland that, that also, as well as secreting its own hormones, directs other glands and organs in the body to release hormones such as the adrenals. And then the adrenals too. So we're massaging the adrenals. So this HPA axis, this session really looks at directly impacting those major organs and glands and autonomic responses with the breath to help reduce anxiety and stress okay everybody and then just coming up now and um, we're going to actually come into a standing position so really take your time to get here tuck the toes under come into a forward fold first of all this might feel really nice have a little wiggle from side to side through the hips and then bend your knees really slowly come up if you feel dizzy just take hold of the wall <sighs> until your head is up lovely and then just go for a little walk around your space give your shoulders a little shake give your hands a shake open and close them reach your arms up <sighs> give your hips a wiggle and just shake and just stroke as well so animals in the wild when they go through something stressful at the end of it once they've finished they shake everything off so just shake and then come into a rock. And rocking is really relaxing for the nervous system. <sighs> so a gentle rock sway. <sighs> Lovely. And then bring your feet wide. I'm gonna roll this up a minute. And just come into some hip circles. Just to release any tension that there might be within the hips, within the pelvic floor. Now, again, if taking your legs really wide doesn't feel good, bring them in line with the hips and do your circles here. All right, everyone. Okay, so we know that there's three diaphragms involved in breathing. We've got the throat, the respiratory diaphragm, and then the pelvic floor, change direction. So we need all these three diaphragms to work, to move, to glide, to help us to reduce our anxiety. So let's relax there, shake the feet off, and let's come down into a nice restorative position now. So what I'm going to suggest is I'm going to set up a T-shape here with my bolsters. <clears throat> And you can have a pillow for your head. You can have um, a pillow underneath your hips here. You can also bring your feet up. So I've got a little footstool here that might feel nice. Um, see what you've got in your area, ladies. This is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to come into a reclined position with my feet up. Now, you might need your footstool a bit further away just to give you a bit more space. You might have feet together, knees out, or however feels comfortable for you. You might not want to put your feet up, you might have them on the ground. But the reason we've got feet up here is to help to take some pressure out of our pelvic bowl. So we're going to actually finish off now with some lovely three-part breathing and really focus on relaxing the throat, 
and the pelvic diaphragm, as well as gaining that full range in the respiratory diaphragm, as full as we can, depending on how, what stage of pregnancy you're, you're in. But hopefully this feels nice, coming into a position that is supported. We don't want to be lying flat <clears throat> throughout pregnancy, especially that uh, second and third trimester. If this doesn't feel good at all, please do just come into a seated position. You might stand against at the wall or you might um, come into a sideline position. Um, and really we're wanting to, we're wanting to lie on that left side. All right, so if you are coming into side lying, I'll show you just something that might be quite nice and I'm sure pillows are your friend uh, at the moment. Um, but it, it might be nice to have some pillows between the legs and also underneath the head too. All right, everybody. So hopefully you've found a position where you feel comfortable. Hopefully you could see me in that one then, but pillow just between your knees. Okay. Coming into position, ladies. All right. And if you're joining me here, that's a nice chest opener for you as well. Hopefully that feels nice. You can place pillows underneath your elbows and forearms. <clears throat> okay. But taking the pressure out of the pelvic bowl here, which again, should feel really nice throughout your pregnancy. Take the pressure off your bladder. So just connecting with your breath now. Feeling the rise and fall, the movement that your breath creates in your body. And just imagining now the respiratory diaphragm from its dome shape flattening as you inhale. And as that's happening, the pelvic floor is softening and relaxing and lowering too. Belly is rising. As you exhale and the belly comes in, the respiratory diaphragm is coming back up into that dome shape and the pelvic floor is lifting up too. So we imagine the pelvic floor to be like a hammock. So as you inhale, that hammock drops even more. And then as you exhale, it comes back up. So it just softens and eases, and then it comes back up. And as this is happening, the diaphragm in the throat is nice and open. So air is passing easily. So you might attach a colour to this now. You might imagine that as you inhale, you're inhaling this beautiful colour down into your lungs and maybe all the way through the body down to the feet, the fingertips. And as you exhale, tension just melts away. Inhale, attach this colour. And exhale. Just imagine any tension in the body now just melting away. Until all that is left is this beautiful, peaceful environment for you and your baby, your babies, to enjoy.
Okay, ladies. If you want to stay longer, please do. If you want to join me and finish the class, I'm going to invite you to bring the legs down to come onto your side, your left side, and slowly come up into a seated position around all of your equipment. Oh, pillows are life, aren't they, ladies? Okay, up into a nice seated position. One hand to heart, one hand to baby or babies. Oh, and just for this moment, acknowledge that connection that you have with your babies, your baby. And trust that your baby can feel your love or your babies feel your love. And your calm, ease and safe environment that they're in. Oh, I'm going to bring my hands together. I'm going to bow my head to my heart and to you too. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies, today. I hope that that has helped you to feel less anxious in the session, but also I hope it allows that feeling to continue to remember, just keep coming back to the videos, keep moving, keep breathing. You are not alone. Sending you lots of love and support. Bye, everyone.